Hello guys and welcome to the new Unreal Engine 5.2 displacement tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how you can exactly do this displacement with any material you want from Quixel Bridge and it's gonna be really really nice to see the results. The first thing we're gonna do is not go to the starter content and drag and drop a low quality plane. I'm gonna go to selection mode, create a plane from scratch with high quality. So I'm gonna go to modeling, rectangle, increase the quality of the plane and keep the width and depth the same. That's one. And now I'm gonna create another one, but increase the width to 200 and the depth to 200 so I can have also a bigger high quality plane. Press here, accept, and that's our first step. The second thing I'm gonna do is right click here, add Quixel content, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the material that I already downloaded before. You can also use the same one, it's called Construction Rubble. I can also put the asset ID so you don't just have to search for it, you just have to copy the asset ID and put it here and you will find the same material. Now what I'm gonna do is download this material on the highest quality possible and add it to the Unreal Engine 5. And then I'm gonna go here and right click, copy asset ID, minimize, go to Quixel Bridge, which you can download from here. Just type on Quixel Bridge, go here, and there you go. And then after doing that, you just have to Ctrl V here, enter, and we have our material. What I'm gonna do also is download the same material also at high resolution, and then I'm not gonna press add. I'm just gonna go to the material, right click, go to files, minimize that one, and we have our files here. Now what I need from this is the displacement texture because if I download from uh, here the bridge from Unreal Engine 5, it doesn't give us the displacement. So I'm gonna have to go to Quixel Bridge, download the material and then come here, drag and drop the displacement. Now after I've done this, I'm gonna go to the plane and go here to the static mesh, double click, and I'm gonna also enable nanite support, and now here you can see displacement maps. I'm gonna press on add element, open this index, you can see there's a place where I can put my displacement, so I'm gonna drag and drop this one here, and I'm gonna change the trim relative error so it can be a little bit better by 0.05 now I'm gonna change the magnitude to 5 now the magnitude is how much you can say how much power are we giving the displacement so if we go here put the material all right and come back here and hit apply changes you're gonna see that we already have a cool displacement now Gonna minimize that a little bit and come back here. You can see that we have an amazing displacement. Now we can do the same thing for this plane because we all know we don't need small planes to duplicate. So we're just gonna go here, do the same thing and press here, enable nanite support, so add element, index, also drag and drop this displacement magnitude 5 and relative error 0 0.05 and then hit save close yes just drag and drop this one and there you go this is really really amazing this is what I'm talking about like finally Unreal Engine 5.2 managed to do the only thing we actually needed at the first place. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you later in another one.